Well, with the credit crisis threatening to push the country into a recession, a severe recession, are we worried about the savings and retirement that we've all built up? What can individual investors do? WHS Lemons Joe Arnold is here with some surprising advice from one financial planner today. Joe, what should we do? Well, Gary, what do you always hear when the stock market takes a tumble or this bad economic news? You hear, calm down, stay the course, you're investing for the long haul. But if you've been ignoring your 401k, these tough economic times might call for a change. Yes, I do think we're going to rebound from it, definitely. When the, when the market goes down, it'll go back up again, right? That's what, I'm optimistic that that's what's going to happen. Even though it's falling, I think it'll go back up again. So we just have to stay steady. The government may want you to just ride out this economic storm, despite most people's opinion that the U.S. is already in a recession. I think a small one. It doesn't really bother me, but I think, I think we are going backwards some. It's kind of even keel right now, and uh, I think it'll probably pick back up. But one local expert says it's time to reevaluate your investments, especially if you're nearing retirement. Typically, bull markets are followed by bear markets. And history tells Matthew Dickin it's going to get a lot worse. We've had several bear markets in the past. The average decline is about 38%. So if we're at about 18%, 17 or 18% down, that tells me uh, if we just play the averages, uh, we might have another 20% to go down before it gets better. Dickens says it takes the average investor seven years to recoup the losses of a bear market. Uh, they're concerned. Uh, they don't know where to put their money. Uh, I've had uh, a few people ask me if they should just bury the money in the backyard. If time is not on your side, he suggests a move to safer investments, like money markets, CDs, and annuities. The returns might not be great, uh, but the good thing is you're not going to lose any money. Dickens says just owning a bunch of different mutual funds doesn't mean you're diversified. And if you're still hoping for the kinds of big stock market returns we saw in the 90s, he says you're holding out for a false promise. If the market was down and then up, down and then up, you have to ask yourself what's next. Mm -hmm. And Dickens says that many investors in their 50s and 60s have portfolios with the same risk as investors in their 20s and 30s. Now, he's part of a nonprofit group in Louisville that offers free seminars if a company wants to educate their employees about financial planning. And a link to that free service is on WHAS11.com. In the newsroom, Joe Arnold, WHAS11 News. Thank you, Joe. In our exclusive Survey USA WHAS11 News poll, we asked you about the U.S. economy. 9% said it was strong. 56% though said the economy is weak. 34% said it is somewhere in between. And 1% was not sure. And we also ask if the U.S. is in a recession. 69% said we're currently in a recession. 27% said not a recession. 4% not sure.